Thanksgiving. Uh, just out babysitting our turkey and thought maybe uh, it'd be kind of fun to make a video here. Just kind of an instructional how-to video. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in this or not. I know there's a lot of places out there that uh, have training videos. So if you like it, let me know. If not, uh, I'll just go back to doing what I was doing before. Um, but anyways, I figured we would just do kind of a, uh, a roll over a log and transition into a I call it a roll up. I mean, it's a hybrid of a double blip and just rolling up onto an object. To me, I feel like a double blip is more of a holding pressure on the rear wheel when you go up an object where we can just roll up something, set the front tire on top of it, carry a little momentum and give it a little gas and we can just get up on top of an object here. So we'll start with this little log here first. Um, you guys want me to go back further and work on balance or anything like that let me know in the comments but we'll just start with this so what i'm going to do is we want to we want to be able to get used to having the uh knowing where our rear tire is basically when we come over this stuff right so we roll up to it i want to be able to have a essentially a spidey sense of where my back tire is in relation to this log so what we'll do is we'll first we'll come up i'm going to take it everybody can roll over this log a good thing for practice is roll up, put your tire on top of it, and then roll over it, and then wait to feel this back tire <coughs> hit the log. And then what we'll do from there is we'll progress it to a little bit of motion, and then what we'll do is we'll squat and then kind of flip the throttle a little bit to get the back tire to pop up over it instead of running into the log. Um, let's give it a shot and see what you guys think. bend my knees a little bit, give it a little bit of gas, and let the clutch out to hop the front tire on top. Apply front brake, rear brake to settle myself in. Take the rear brake off, balance for just a second, long as you guys can, the longer the better, it's good practice. And then slowly roll off the log, give it a little bit of gas, and just pull with the clutch. And just hop, just a little bit of a hop, we'll get that thing to spring up and over this. So next what we'll do, We'll come in with just a little bit of momentum. Um, obviously we can't let the front wheel slide over with the momentum, so we're gonna just gonna pop a little bit of a wheelie, put the tire on top of the log, and then give it some gas. It'll just be kind of like a little hop, which is the start to a double blip here. Let's see how that works. Here we are, a little larger log, 
Uh, same principles. It's going to take a little bit more effort to get over this. You can see pretty much skid plate height. So we're going to hit the skid plate if we don't do this quite right. Um, so we want to keep a little bit of momentum. We're going to put the tire just on top, a little bit of gas, and pop the clutch. When we do that, we just a little bit of a jump. It's not going to take a whole terrible lot. Now the key is we want to be smooth over this. So let's give it a shot. I'll, get, I'll show you guys uh, a couple demonstrations here. larger log but uh, I decided the larger you get you get it up and over so your front end drops it's a little bit scary for most people to start with so let's move to a couple pallets this is two pallets stacked on top of each other you can put this out in the middle of your yard wherever and it's the exact same technique except for now your front end's not gonna go over the top of the log you got a little bit of pause now this one the pallets turned short ways as I go across it just because that's how I have it set up but I would turn them long ways or stack two pallets together so you have some extra room basically it's like going up a little ledge you know up a hill onto a little ledge or something like that um, it's not as much strain on you to learn because you're not you know pulling as you go over the front of the bike there as it drops over the back side of the log so this is actually a pretty good way to learn and I've been around this thing a million times uh, so We'll move. We'll try this one for a couple minutes and then uh, move on to a larger one. of doing that uh, just a nice slow roll up putting the front tire on and stopping for a second and then going um, the start of a little bit of a bubble double blip where I really revved it up dumped the clutch to get it to pick up and just ride a wheelie across the top of the pallet and then also where I come up slow enough to just catch the back tire on the corner here <laughs> and drag the brakes just a little bit so I can get up on top and stop Use a little bit of gas, have the brakes, but you're using the clutch to hold yourself up. You know, it's a good thing to practice. Okay, here we are. You can see, I don't know what, how big this tire is, 20 inches, 22 inches, something like that. Um, it's the same thing. The wheel's gonna be up higher, obviously, to get up there to put it out in front, so. We're going to come up to it, compress the suspension so we bend the knees, a little bit of a hop and lean back and it'll come up with the, with the power of the bike. Set the front tire on here. As soon as the tire sets on, we, we, uh, what we're going to plan on doing is we'll go and squat right when it, right when it hits. We're going to slip the clutch, give it a little bit of gas and then whoop. Now, the, trick to it though is is we want to be up on it smooth right so what we want to do is I would say a double blip when I get up on there and I set my front tire on the top and I rev it and jump I, I throw my throw my body weight forward like this but I'm also kind of pulling back so I, I'm trying to get the bike to rotate under me so the rear tire stays on here it's kind of my definition of a double blip is I want to hold pressure up on here I'll show it here later. But for this instance, we wanna get the front tire up on there, 
and we're just gonna give it a little bit of gas so we hit a little bit of gas jump and then suck up so we just want to be able to absorb this thing instead of putting pressure on it uh, just keep an eye on the video you'll see I'll try to over exaggerate it you're just gonna want to jump up try to keep the weight off the foot pegs keep your bite your body weight kind of over the front so it's real light and the back of the bike will just come right up and over the top I was able to show you how that is. So the roll up is the start of a double lip. You can give a little gas to get up on top with your front tire and then a little bit of a blip, but you want to stay on top of the bike and absorb the whole thing. Pick up kind of like a bunny hop. Soak it up and get on top. Nice and smooth. Your body's real natural, real neutral. Um, then I went to a double blip where it's more throttle. You're a little bit more aggressive. Hopefully I showed where when you dump the clutch, it's a, it's a hip throw, but I'm also letting the bike pivot backwards so that it hold pressure when it hits, and you'll hear the whine of the motor when it hits the tire, it makes a whiny noise. As it does that, it's right to the point where I'm feeling through the foot pegs where I am in relation to the top of the tire and going over backwards. So I feel that, I feel it start to crawl up. As it gets up towards the top, I start pulling the clutch in just a little bit to let it slip or if I wanted to I'd lean back into it a little bit more with the rear brake on I could stop you know and let it sit down um, we'll move on to a couple bigger obstacles and try to do a couple roll-ups on and uh, we'll go from there Same motion, it's a lot more effort the higher up we go, especially as close as I got to the log. Essentially, just a couple inches as I pulled away from it. This takes more effort, but same thing. I'm trying to get up on top of the bike and lift it up with me just to get up on top. Not going to rear, not holding pressure, just trying to get up and over it. Okay, we'll try to apply the roll-up technique to this line here. We're gonna come up onto this high, right across. I'm gonna aim to put the front tire right in this little groove right here, and just suck it up and get up on top of here. But we'll give it a try. If the dog gets out of the way.
there you have it. It's a roll up with a little bit of a gap. You can see how that roll up is really handy and can be applied to pretty much anything. Uh, matter of fact, I might do one more line if I can here. I got a real skinny line onto a tire that's kind of fun. But if you guys enjoy it, uh, let me know in the comments and I will make more of these. Uh, I'm not much of a talker, <laughs> so giving an instruction uh, on a camera and editing is really foreign to me. So let me know what you all think and uh, if I get good uh, response, I'll, I'll make some more. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks, and we'll talk to you later.